We've talked previously about the impact of cash flow on your accounts receivable or your debtors accounts, the money that's owed to you by your customers. What I'm going to talk to you about now is the impact of the level of stock inventory, um, the, the product that you sell, how much of that and the impact of that on your cash flow. So what, what we look at um, in a number of businesses is we look at the average days in stock of inventory. Okay, so depending on the size of your inventory, and when we talk about days in stock, it might mean that let's say you sell for ease of calculation, you've got $100,000 worth of stock and you've got $1.2 million a year worth of sales. That basically means every 30 days or every month, you're turning your stock over completely. Okay, so every month you get what you, what you hold in stock, you sell, and you get a new lot of stock and you sell that the next month. The problem can come about where you find that you're holding more stock than you need to sell. And I've seen this issue happen a number of times with a number of our customers. So if we've got days in stock, if we've got say 30, 30 days of, of, of stock in hand, and we can also look at it as inventory turnover. So on that, we're turning over our inventory 12 times. That's fantastic. We're getting the money in, we're making our margin, we move on to the next month. One of our customers, um, a number of years ago, their sales, what were their sales? Their sales were about 5.4 billion. Now they had, at that point in time, was about $900,000 worth of stock. Okay, so we divide that, we got 5,400,000 divided by 365. They, they sell 14,000, roughly, $14,800 worth of stock per day at cost. That's their cost and they make a margin on that. But they had $900,000 worth of stock divided by 14,800 means that they've got 60 days worth of stock on hand. So they've got, if they didn't buy anything, assuming that they had all the right stuff, if they didn't buy anything for two months, they'd still be able to supply their customers. Now what was happening with the cash flow, all this stock that they'd purchased was on 30 days. So they had to pay their, pay their suppliers in 30 days. They, weren't, they were holding 60 days worth of stock and their creditor day, their debtor days were 60 days. So all of a sudden, we've got 120 days there and we've got 30 days there. The net effect was they were funding 90 days on $900,000 worth of stock. We worked out with them on this figure here, $14,800 a day, that if they could reduce their stock holding, by each day they reduced their stock holding, that saved them cash flow $14,800. So when you look at your cash flow with regard to your inventory, you don't want to have too much inventory. You need to have the stock to sell but you cannot have too much stock because your cash flow will die. You'll have stock up the wazoo and you'll have your customers, but because your suppliers are gonna to wanna to be paid, you need to make sure that you're not holding too much, that you can't actually fund the business. So we, we did a concentrated effort. We set up some new reporting mechanisms, some new purchasing mechanisms for their business and we reduced their stock holdings to about 54 days, which was pretty good given their industry, but six times 14,800, 14,800 by, by six. This is the power of the cash flow and then understanding how it works. That was a net result to them, positive cash flow of $88,800 by just getting their inventory from 60 days to 54 days. So when you're looking at your business and your cash flow, and you're also, you've are you got to consider your inventory, your stock, how much stock are you holding, and what's it actually costing you to hold it, particularly when you're holding it beyond 30 days where you've got to pay your suppliers. Each one of those days is sucking cash out of your business. 
And each day that you can suck, you can get that back in by reducing your inventory, better purchasing, uh, making sure that you're not carrying too much. You can save that every day. And as I said, for six days with this customer's example, it made an $88,000 difference to his cash flow. Didn't make any difference to his profit, but it made an $88,000 difference to his cash flow. So you really need to think about when you're looking at cash flow in a business with regard to your stock on hand, that you carry enough but not too much.